Welcome Aries. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Dragon Oracle cards and Nature's Whispers and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, Aries, let's have a look here for you. Sorry that your reading's out late. I had to get myself into alignment, so thanks for your patience. And also, thank you for your support of this channel. Um, I'm very grateful to all of you. Okay, so the first card, well, this is the one card that we're pulling from this deck, and I will read it from the book at the end. It is Ear Dragon. Look at this. This is actually literally one of my favorite cards in this deck. I love the colors in here. Beautiful. It says, helps you rise above earthly matters. Communicate honestly. Brings inf inspiration and hope. See life from a higher perspective. Yeah, I love that. Which is what that dragon is doing, right? Rising up above, like the birds do, seeing it from a bird's eye point of view. Which sometimes can be difficult though, right? Don't you reckon? I do. Because when you're in something, it's kind of like, how do you see it from any other perspective than what you're just seeing right in front of you? I suppose in a way, it's kind of like stepping out of that tunnel vision, right? So three cards for Ear Dragon for Aries, please. Ear Dragon for Aries. So beautiful. I love these cards. Okay. Oh, hang on a minute. Sorry, Aries. That was really, really bad shuffling. Okay. Let's try again. Okay. This time, three cards for Aries, please, for Ear Dragon. Three cards. Hmm. Three cards for Aries. No. One just slipped out, but it didn't jump out. Three cards for Aries, please. One, two. That one's just fallen out, and I feel like I'm meant to take it because it came out exactly the same way as it did last time. So I wonder if it's the same one. I don't know because it was upside down. Anyway, the first card here is make a decision. Okay, make a decision. What else have we got here? Let love be your beacon. Make a wish. Interesting. Very interesting here. Okay, so let's start with this card here. Make a decision. See, this is this is the thing, I suppose, about rising above, right? Seeing um, things from a higher perspective that might be easier to help you make the decision that you need to make here, Aries. Because um, it's kind of like there's... Okay, let's just say there's two options. The fact of the matter is that for you, Aries, there could be more than two. There could be, you know three, four, ten options, who knows, right? Um, you could be spoiled for choice here. But I feel like the options are very different. Um, and the thing is that with this, it's what's difficult is you can rise as high as you like, but you also can't predict the future. But what I want to say here, Aries, is maybe it's not about predicting the future. It's actually about creating the future and understanding that that is in your control. And you have the power to do that. No one else. Okay. So let's just see if there's any more cards for make a decision for Aries. Okay. What have we got here? Completion, totality. Yeah, there's the one last thing, there's one last thing that needs to happen. And maybe this is the decision, the decision, right? Um, <laughs> it's funny that I that had trouble saying that and maybe that's so hard for you to actually say, right? Um, but this, because in order to start something new, you need to finish something off. So in that regard, 
a decision needs to be made um, to proceed forward with the new thing so that you can close the old thing off. Okay, there could be, you could have three decisions here. There could be three people involved in this decision. Um, but I feel as though that once you do make the decision, you're going to know, it's kind of like, oh, no, actually I want to say that in a different way, sorry. When you when making the decision or contemplating on it, drop down into your heart, into your intuition and make the decision from a knowing place as opposed to your mind, okay? Because deep down inside, you know the best choice to make. It's there. But there's something inside of you that is fighting that, right? You don't want, what you want is different from what you know is the best thing. And um, and I feel as though when you, when you take the armor off and allow whatever needs to happen to happen, you will successfully move forward. And, um, and the thing is that there's this, there's something sort of like going on in the sense of contemplation, contemplating, oh, but, you know, if I do this, then this, this, and this. But, what you know, it's kind of like, sorry, it's like about having a dream for the future and then not going through with that dream and feeling like, oh, but there was these plans and this is what was meant to happen and this is what I dreamed of and this is what path I was meant to go down and rah 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 um, so it's letting go of all that and just kind of like, and I feel like you've kind of put that armor on in a sense to go, no, I'm going to fight for this and because this is what I really want and this was meant to be. Um, but it's actually just going really inside and going, you know what, I'm just going to let go what needs to be let go of in order to move forward. Okay. Because when we're talking about the air dragon, help you rise above earth, earthly matters here. This is more about just what's going on in this earthly plane. This is about your soul journey, about your evolvement in life, right? So in that regard, Aries, I feel as though it's really important for you to um, make sure that you take the box off your head and allow yourself to have a new start. Um, this is this internal battle. This is you going on and on in your head and making out like things are fine um, and trying to make it look good. But you're really like, it's kind of like burying your head in the sand and not seeing the truth for what it is. And that is what you can feel inside. You actually know the truth. And um, that's something that maybe you're ignoring a bit because you don't really want it to be true. Yeah, yeah. But when you do this, you're going to successfully... See, look, th these are all in a row here. I love this. They're all in a row, right? You've got the completion, you've got success, and then you've got We Are The World. This is, you know, this is bringing in everyone who is meant for you. This is coming together in a sense of um, uniting and connecting with not just like-minded individuals, but like-hearted individuals, okay? But it's the decision that needs to be made in order for you to proceed forward with that okay so the next card here is let your love be the beacon let your love be your beacon again this is dropping into your heart and I know that for some of you you'll be like yeah but this is what my heart wants you know um but it's it's the intuitive uh feeling as well okay because the mind, the mind will tell you whatever it wants you to know, which ultimately will be the ego at play as well, especially if it's something that you know isn't the best thing, that's the ego going, no, 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 let's go do this, you know, um, but yeah, following that heart um, is, is more of a natural way of you leading in your life, 
okay because when you don't and think of the past times um when you haven't followed your heart um you know maybe those times didn't work out so well right um and i just need to get these cards in order see yeah i just want to talk about these first because with what i'm talking about because i feel like they are relevant to what i'm talking about here these um you know things are done okay and things haven't worked out in the past and maybe things haven't worked out now um and there's the sense of kind of holding on to things when it really has served its purpose and um this whatever it is here aries may have been present in your life in order for you to melt the ice that you have used to protect yourself in every which way that you've been able to okay um it's time now to um to let go because in the past when you haven't followed your heart and followed your mind it has resulted in this closing yourself off or at least feeling like you've needed to it's resulted in heartbreak and it's resulted in you not following your true path you know and it's not been what is best for your soul and what is best for your soul is in your heart so be mindful be mindful of not confusing that with what your ego is telling you here okay okay so what's this card here rebirth right look at this look at this this is rising up past this let's see i actually feel like this is representing ego here which is interesting because i've never had that from this card before as far as i'm aware but these things here i want to say there's also some stored emotions that need to come out you need to do the work to release these emotions here aries because um <clears throat> they need releasing in order for you to be able to um play your tune to walk to the rhythm of your own drum right and this can be done through creative ways you know um and it really is tapping in and tuning in to what it is that um allows your soul to best express itself that allows your emotions to be released you know whether that's through painting music art um dance um any form of creativity that brings you joy and lifts your spirits, lifts you up here, Aries. This is, you know, and that's the other thing, though, is there might be something you really, really, really enjoy doing, but it actually depletes your energy or it um, brings your energy down. It's not of a higher vibration. So be mindful of that because, again, that's the ego at play, right? Um, so really look at what it is that makes your heart sing, that makes your heart truly light up. You know, that doesn't involve anyone else other than you and what it is that you are creating here. Okay. Right. So, yeah, I love this. Look at this. We've got projections and the creator. Your projections here, Aries. Look at what it is that you're projecting out, okay? This this will be um, the emotions that you are holding within that you're not expressing in a healthy way. They're stored inside and they'll come out in a, a, a lot of different ways in your life. Um, even if you don't express them to others, they are being projected in your life in some form or other, okay? Understand here that you are the creator of your world, okay? And with these buried energies here, these buried emotions, what it is that you are creating, if it's not fulfilling for you, you need to be looking at the the um, the emotions that are being projected out that are creating your reality because the fact of the matter is that when you're trying to manifest things you can manifest to your blue in the face if all this stuff is not being dealt with inside of you 
and it's been projected out in some form or other, then that's what will be created in your world. So, given that, make a wish. Make a wish. Deal with these emotions. Let them out. Release them. Okay, let them go in whatever form works for you. Don't lie to yourself and say, oh yeah, I did that once and then I'm fine. You need to do it all the time. And the other thing that needs to be done every single day is inner child work, inner child work, inner child work. This is important for everyone. Okay, and we've got this new beginning here. I love this. We've got 11 here and then this one, right? We've got this total new beginning. So make a wish, send it out. You know, send it out into the universe and let it transpire. Create it. Create your world because that's what you're in charge of. That is what you have control of. Not everybody else and what they're doing, only you and your world. Okay, so look at how you want to create that. Look at how you want to, yeah, did I say that right? Um, yeah. yeah, sorry. <laughs> that just sounded funny when it came out of my mouth. But anyway, okay, so make a wish, Aries. Tell me more about this, because like, part of me feels like this is surrendering, sort of, not get like, yeah. You know, so th and I always harp on about it though, so I feel like I have to repeat it again even though I feel like I always say it, is, you know, looking at the, the seeds that you're planting, what's going on in your mind here, right? And this has come up here, that what is going on in your mind? You know, because whatever is going on in your mind is is creating your vibration. And um, we've got letting go here as well. Um, and, yeah, and it's actually... Oof, that's a big freaking energy there. Sorry, Aries, that was just really, yeah, those three cards that come out is quite heavy. Um, what is going on in your mind is creating your vibration, which is, in turn, creating your reality. Okay, um, so, yeah, see, look at this suppression. Whew, this is heavy as, man, really, really heavy um and 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 this is kind of like i want to say about these thoughts in your mind right because we've got i'm just going to show you these we've got these two cards here which are absolutely just you know horrible horrible energy to be feeling for you and um in that regard i feel as though there is a um sense of this one here says guilt and so maybe some of you feel guilty about something i think this has come up for you before but i can't be sure on that but anyhow um not suppressing it aries letting it go okay because letting go has come up here letting it go forgiving yourself loving yourself regardless of what it is that you choose okay um making that choice making the decision just doing it because you know in your heart of hearts what it is that you need to do and you need to go ahead with that anyway. And yeah, it may be painful. And, and maybe it's the pain that you don't want. Maybe it's the pain that you don't want to face. Maybe that's what's holding you back from actually making this decision. You know, maybe you don't want to hurt someone. Maybe, you know, you feel like you're leaving someone in the lurch. I feel like you just need to do it, Aries. You need to do it. You need to take the next step forward and the next step forward. Just take it step by step by step, right? You don't need to make a hundred steps all at once. You take it step by step, as slow as you need to, but not so slow that you're not making any movement forward whatsoever. Let your inner voice lead the way. Go within. Go within and let this lead the way because when you do that, when you trust in your inner voice, in that inner knowing, when you turn to source and let this new beginning, this passionate new beginning in your life transpire, this passion inside of you, this new passionate beginning with yourself, first and foremost, that's the most important relationship that you will have in your entire life is with yourself here, Aries, right? So nurture it, love it, love yourself, love your inner child, take care of that. 
if nothing else, take care of that. Because when you do, everything else works. And it's not so hard. And you don't have to live in this. Okay? So, yeah. Anyway, let's have a look at Ear Dragon. Now, let me just find the contents. I don't even know where this will be. Um... Is it, give me a clue. No, sorry. Bear with me here. I'm going to have to just look for it. Ear Dragon. Here it is. Okay. Aries. Okay, helps you rise above earthly matters, communicate honestly, brings inspiration and hope, see life from a higher perspective. Fourth dimensional ear, ear dragons are blue, the colour of the sky, and fly lightly around us. Ear is the element of communication, and these dragons help us to speak our truth. They also encourage us to breathe properly so that we inhale as much source energy as possible. Love that, because we have the source, right? Perfect. When ear dragons puff their energy over a person or situation, they bring new hope and opportunity. We can all call on them to exhale over situations to enable resolutions to be taken for the highest good. In their energy fields, they carry the light of higher possibilities for the planet. Guidance. Ear dragons suggest you take things lightly. So choosing this card indicates you should relax and look at part of your life from a higher perspective. Ear dragons also inspire you to communicate honestly but lovingly in a way that calms and soothes everyone around you and promotes good outcomes. Honest communication will bring pure white light into your aura. And when this happens, everybody will trust and respect you. Blue ear dragons are supporting you as you rise above your challenges. They will help you to say the most tactful or inspirational words and assist you to stand in your power with integrity. Breathe blue and white light into your heart center as an ear dragon disappears in front of you. Breathe the light over it. In this way, you are energizing and motivating it so that it will always be connected to you. It is time to decide on your next step. So be clear about what you really want. Your ear dragon will accompany you as you fly towards your chosen destiny. Wow. <laughs> They're so cool. I love that. Anyway, Aries, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.